Hello, I am Flash Isaac. This is Flash Ninas. You are now watching 120 Days to Jam. This is a series containing 120 videos to prepare you for jam. Each episode of the series contains introduction, outline, detailed class, questions, and homework for you. The questions and homework are from the Flash Learners Jam application. Install Flash Learners Jam app today to access all the free features. Click activate and scroll to buy activation key to get access to the golden features. Don't be scared, the app is affordable. Do you have trust issues? Simply chat me directly on Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and Telegram for installation and activation instruction. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to take off. Hello, you are welcome to episode number four of 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be taking a look at this question, which says, a man bought a second hand photocopy machine for 34000 He serviced it at a cost of 2000 and then sold it at a profit of 15%. What was the selling price? In other words, how much did he sell it? This is under profit and loss percent. The purpose of business is to make profit, but sometimes you run at loss. How do you know if you made profit and how do you calculate your loss? Look at this. Your profit in business or when you buy goods, the total amount you spend acquiring goods, getting products, buying stores, that is your cost or cost price. Amount you spend on goods, on product, on, on the service. So long you are getting stuff, you are buying. The total amount you spend is your cost price. Selling needs, the amount you get from selling or how much you give out the goods or you give out the product or you give out the item. That is your selling price. Your selling price is bigger than your cost price. It simply means that you are selling more than how much you bought. In that case, you've made profit. So profit is selling price minus cost price. Not just selling price minus cost price. Selling price minus cost price should give you a positive answer. If <laughs> If selling price minus cost price gives you a negative answer, then it is loss. Loss, on the other hand, is when your cost price is bigger than your selling price. Loss is cost price minus selling price. But some, if your cost price minus selling price gives you a negative answer, in that case, it is no longer a loss, it is profit. Now, if selling price minus cost price is profit, it simply means percentage profit is your profit over cost price. So it's also equals profit over cost price. If cost price minus selling price is loss, percentage loss is simply loss over cost price. But percentage is not complete unless you multiply by 100. So this is your complete formula. A man bought a second-handed photocopy machine for 34,000 Naira and serviced it for 2,000 Naira. If you say that the cost price is 34,000 Naira, you are wrong because after buying the machine, he had to spend 2,000 Naira to service it before he's able to sell. So all the amount you spend Acquiring the product, when you sold everything, that is your cost price. 
The thirty-four thousand was the cost. Two thousand there. Two thousand was the cost. So when you add them, you get thirty-six thousand. This is the total cost. Talking about cost price, you make use of the total cost. And we are told that he sold it at a profit of fifteen percent. We are not told how much he sold it, but we are aware that he made a profit, fifteen percent profit. And this 15% profit, what is it? That is the percentage profit. Percentage profit is 15. What is the selling price? Selling price is the question. From this formula, we have our percentage profit, we have our cost price. So, we can look for selling price. Percentage profit is 15. Remember, percentage speaks for 15 over 100. When you hear percentage, it is 15 over 100. So either you say 15 over 100 is equals selling price, let it be SP, minus cost price, 36,000, over cost price, 36,000. Either you leave it like this, or instead of representing this 50% by 15 over 100, you can say times 100. They are the same. 15 over 100 is equals this, or 15 is equals selling price minus 36,000 over 36,000 times 100. Anyhow you do it is correct. But don't put 100 here and put another 100 here. That is when you will be very, very wrong. From here, what do we do? You cannot say uh, three zeros, cancel three zeros. It is a crime in mathematics. In mathematics, you only crime uh, cancel when you have one number at the top, only one number at the top, single number and single number at the bottom. Or when multiplication is separating these two. This multiplication times is affecting everything. So, you may be right. Using these two zeros to cancel two zeros from here, you are right. But using these zeros to cancel this one here, you are wrong. Now, 15 is equals selling price minus 36,000. If we agree to use these two zeros to cancel these two zeros, we will say 360. But if we don't agree, we we'll arrive at 15 is equals 100 times selling price. 100 selling price minus 100 times 36,000. That is 361 2, 3, 1, 2. Over 361 2, 3. 15 times 360 cross multiplying. To be equals selling price minus three thousand thirty six thousand. This will give you five thousand four hundred. It's equals selling price minus thirty six thousand. Let's collect like terms. Take thirty six thousand add to this guy. Then let selling price be at the right hand side. This will give you five thousand four hundred. Plus, this is minus 36,000. As it crosses the equality sign, it becomes plus 36,000. So, plus 36,000 is equals selling price. This will give you 41400 is equals selling price. So, the selling price is 41,400 as seen in option C. Option C is the correct option. And if you choose to solve it this way, you will get the same answer. So be open-minded. Solve any way that is easier for you. What matters is you getting the answer, not you following my method. So this brings us to the end of episode number four. Time for homework. Open the Flashiness application. Click on question search and search percentage profit. Answer the questions 
related to what we've covered. The ones we've not covered, wait for us to cover them. If you have questions, reach me on my social handle. Thank you.